think he's a bit over energetic today. I think she's struggling with his strength a bit. Not quite calm enough. Such a lazy bugger, I wanted him to canter up there for the bloody video. And he says, I'm going to walk, because that's what dressage horses do. guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video so today we are going to starport equestrian to compete in the straight pre st george and you are probably wondering why i'm competing so much at the moment um so basically we are going to a show virtually every week over this next month because i'm actually going on holiday in may now this is the first time i've been away since my wedding because i got married abroad and uh, my wedding was four years ago, so I know. Cry for Zara and her lack of holidays. I actually booked this holiday like four times now because it can't get moved due to, you know, the Rona. So anyway, let's not get into that. But basically, I'm going on holiday for two weeks in May, meaning that I won't compete all through May because obviously when I get back, no one's riding Leggy because Leggy 2 is getting a well-deserved holiday, meaning that when I get back, it's gonna take me a few weeks to get him back into everything. Um, so yeah, so May is a is a goner, and basically the summer season is January to the 30th of June, meaning that I have to get all my qualifications in before the 30th of June, meaning that I don't have May, um, and I've still got some tests to do. So that's why I'm competing so much through April because it's going to have basically May off, um, and then I'm hoping we might have my into one music in. Um, June maybe and I would quite like I know I'm being quite optimistic but I actually would quite like to do the into one music at the area festivals meaning that I would have to do two area fest um two not straight oh my god two music into one tests and then I could go off and do the area festival at into one I know ah, so exciting so that is my plan so basically means that I have to do so much competing in April I've got to do one more straight test and if I get my points today that's the straight qualified for and then I've got to do one more music test and if I get my points then that's all the music PSG qualified for, meaning that's done. So there's your update. That's why I'm competing leggy so much. Uh, there's beans in the background. And uh, yeah, that's it. So it's a nice day. Let's crack on. Let's get going. Thank you. 
Very excited, It'll but it'll be all right. So welcome to another voiceover. I know you guys like the voiceovers. It's also good for me to like look back at these tests and see what I thought at the time because I edit the videos quite quickly after competing. Everything's quite fresh in my mind. Okay, so um, my issue with this test was I struggled to find my collection and you can actually see me warming up around the edge trying to get my collection back. Um, basically when he gets like a bit frisky and spicy I really find it hard to collect him and then I end up riding with my hands and not my seat and I hate that like I hate it so much I always encourage all of my riders to ride off their seat and not their hand but it's so hard when you know they start pulling you and they start getting really keen so what I was just doing around here is just trying to find my half halt again and like I know that the time's about to go but I was like right I just need to bring him back because everything is just getting way too forward um, and when they are too forward he goes a little bit on the forehand and then like I say I end up pulling too much which just doesn't create connection so he stayed in quite good collection now so it, it kind of came and went basically but like I say when they are feeling quite hot you really do have to ride on your seat and you know guys as much as I tell you lot I am only human and it is easy to just start pulling by accident because you know you're in a test you're under a little bit of pressure and you want them to do well so like watching the video back I would say right you need to run more off your seat and less off your hand which like I say I don't normally do but he was forward so anyway so that was in a bad halt and then he moved off quite nicely um, he got a 6.5 for that because he wasn't quite square on the centre line Coming into our first extended trot, I do a little half halt and then I soften the reins. Now, I have done a lot better than this before, but again, because he wasn't quite sitting, um, instead of going more elevated through the trot, he kind of went a bit quicker. Normally, they should sit back and lift up through their forehand, so that only got a 6.5. Trot across the top got a 6.5. The first shoulder in only got a 6 because um, he's not really bending. He's a little bit stiff uh, again because he was quite hot a little bit of tension crept in 6.5 for the circle again not enough bend um, you can see that he's bending his neck in, but he's not bending enough through the body and 6.5 for the half pass basically the same thing that he's just losing bend through his body and even you guys can see that you know they should be like a banana shape when doing a circle and doing a half pass my second extended trot was a lot better you can see he came up more through the shoulders and didn't go so fast um, he would have got a 7 for this but he actually put his nose slightly above the vertical meaning that that dropped us back to a six and a half uh, he got a seven for the trot across the lung side because he did start to soften um, this shoulder in was a little bit better but you can see that the contact's not quite as steady and this is where I would say I need to stop fiddling with my hand so much 
The circle got a seven though because he definitely bent better around my inside leg. And then we go into the half pass, which you can kind of see that I just need to keep my hands a little bit stiller so that he can stay stiller in the contact. But like I say, I was just a bit handsy on this test, which I'm very disappointed at myself in, but I know I'll do better next time. So I gave him a pat before I go into the walk just to make sure everything's nice and calm. So, um... In the walk, basically what the judge said is that I needed to collect him more, so he came up more through the shoulders. But when he is feeling like this hot, I get a little bit scared to put my leg on or to do anything, especially in the walk, because I feel if I do anything, he's going to jog. So you can see that my reins are a little bit too floppy now because I'm like, oh, I'm not going to touch him at all, which isn't the right thing to do. I tap him over. Here you got two 6.5s for the pirouettes. I can do better in those walk pirouettes. I was just losing my connection today, which is, you know, just one of those things. Uh, going now into the extended walk, MR across the diagonal, um, Sony across the short diagonal in this test. So at this point, I'm trying to move my hips to keep the walk forward, but what I'm not doing is putting too much leg on him because I'm just feeling like he's on the verge of jogging. And I think you nearly see him go into a jog. I mean, I felt, you can't really see it, but I felt that he wanted to go into a jog. So I was like, ah, don't touch him. So I really, really, really avoid touching him. Gathering my reins up now. Again, I'm not touching him at all with my leg because I'm really worried that he's going to break. And I put my right leg back. I've done a million times better canter transitions than that. So that wasn't a very good one. First half pass, he got, he got all right marks for his zigzag, actually. I think he got sevens for the zigzag. He's quite good at this bit because he's quite supple in the half passes in the canter and he's very obedient with the changes. Again, Zara, keep your hands a little bit stiller, please. I did my change early there, though, so he lost half a mark. Again, would have been a seven, but um, you're meant to do the change on M. So you know how I tell you guys accurate riding? Well, you know, should take a leave at my own book. Uh, first pirouette, I purposely kept it big and I didn't think it was that bad, um, but it only scored a five because it was big. But I know it just, I couldn't collect him today, so I was like, oh gosh, that was so big, maybe I should have made it smaller. But then I changed my mind for this one and I think I should have just kept it big, but instead I went to go a bit smaller. He spun, he changed his leg meaning that I've got to stop and go back into the counter canter. Now, if I didn't stop and go back into the counter canter, he couldn't have done this next move, which was counter canter flying change. So you must stop and then take him back, which he got a seven for that, actually. He only got four for the pirouette, by the way. <laughs> these fours, I was really happy because I was worried about these changes today because my changes weren't very good last time, but I was super happy with those fours. I was like, yes, they were straight. He scored a seven for them. So I was really, really happy with those. And then I kind of let it all go in the threes. I don't know why. Maybe I just got too fiddly again. Just need to sit a bit quieter. One, two, three. They started all right. And then I think I, put a, I stuck a, whoops, missed a change there. And then he did a two back. So he only got a four there. So I made a mistake on the fourth one. Um, yeah, so it's only a four, guys. So you can kind of see where my marks were being brought down in this. And then we go and extend the canter. Love, love, love this part because he does it nicely and it comes back nicely. So I was happy with that. And then down the centre line, he got sevens for every last bit of this test, actually. The changes, the extensions, uh, the holes, everything got a seven. So I finished the test off better than what I started. And he absolutely slams to a halt here. I was like, my gosh, nearly got whiplash. But lovely and square, so I was really happy with that. Um, so yeah, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Are you tired now? Are you tired after galloping away with your mother? <laughs> and spinning round your pirouettes. Look at him, he's not good. Oh, I might have a little bite to eat. Yes. Bing, bing, bing. I want the test to show everyone. Dup, dup, dup. You got it, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> I'm being quick. <laughs> show everybody the test. There you go. We can do a, um, how we felt it went. Look at all the things you have to do in this test. Look at all these things. <laughs> Three pages. That's too much. But we're all qualified. Oh no, Sabi. Just trying to 
teach a lesson and the, the girls are watching. <laughs> Hi guys, so I'm back at home now. Thank you so much for watching our video. As you saw, Leggy was quite spicy today, but um, I don't know if I said it before, but yeah, he wasn't very like forward going in his last test. So I fed him a lot and I gave him like a lot of energy and a lot of high protein food. So I think I might have made a run for my own back, but we are competing one more time next week at uh, Only Equestrian doing the music, which I absolutely love. And I know he's going to be in the middle. Yeah, I'm absolutely gonna get him in the middle. Not too slow, not too hot. He will be just right. But anyway, I had a super time today at Starport. The weather was absolutely beautiful. I'm always so proud of Leggy because I just can't believe we're competing at this level. And we finished our qualification. That's right, we are all qualified for the area festivals at Straight Pre St. George level. So that is so exciting. I can't wait to get going to the area festivals later this year. Like I say, I'm gonna try and qualify for the music and then maybe the into one, but we'll see about that. But anyway, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next week.